I feel oh, sorry for them what? all. What's happening? What? What? That's up two. Oh, fuck, I love rum. Drinks inside of. <laughs> fuck. Hollowed out pineapples. My lawn car needs a. <laughs> yep, I went on a trip to Hawaii maybe a decade ago. How old are you? You're all so old. Oh. Hey, my coupon. A couple of tries to get it in. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't. I got in. Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna make it taste sad. Brian! A keen understanding of steak cuts. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up, fireman? On a Friday night, you're most likely to see just how slowly I can cook a piece of brisket. What a fun da dad. guy. Fun Eat dad. plenty of carbs the night before a big game. That is actually quite good advice. Hey, Daisy, you're not going fishing tomorrow. You? Uh, oh, wait, no, you should be saying that. Uh, hey. Oh, I have a message from Brian. Hey, Daisy and I are going fishing tomorrow. Are you in or are you out? Oh, no, I've been dreading this day. I accidentally boasted about my abilities as a fisherman to Brian. Now he's challenging me to another dad-off. I've been doing my fishing research online, but I'm nowhere close to being an expert. Still, though, I have to accept. I type back to Brian. Sounds great, man. Super excited to catch all of those fish. Make sure you mow your mower is in good working order, because you're going to be all over my lawn this weekend. Oh, <laughs> that'll show him. Brian responds back, letting me know that tomorrow he'll pick us up at a, uh, up at a, at an hour. Yeah. Oh, an hour I had previously forgotten existed. Man, it's going to be a rough start. Amanda! Amanda comes in the room from the kitchen eating a cheese stick by biting off piece by piece like some kind of monster. I didn't raise you like that. Mm. What? It's called string cheese and not chompy cheese for a reason, Amanda. Ugh. Did you just call me in here to criticize my controversial st string cheese eating technique or what? <laughs> no, Amanda, we have to go fishing tomorrow. Well, you have to go fishing. I get to play with Brian's dog. <laughs> How do I become a master of fishing overnight? You went fishing in the Girl Scouts, didn't you? Mm. Nope. My stint in the Scouts was brief and purely transactional. Though I could get free cookies, but I didn't know I had to, like, be outside and tie knots and stuff. <laughs> but I have to beat Brian! Dad, let me tell you a story. Do you remember last summer how I applied for a job at that coffee shop across town? Mm-hmm. Um, give me a refresher. During the interview, they asked me if I knew how to work an espresso machine, and I really wanted the job, so I lied and said yes. On that first morning, there was a line out the door, and within half an hour, I severely burned my hand, and they told me to go home and never come back. I still have a scar from that. Of course I remember. What does that have to do with fishing? The burn is a metaphor, Dad. I don't get it. Hmm. You can lead a horse to water, but... What do horses have to do with fish and burns? Hmm. Dad, please. I don't get your obsession with competing against Brian. You wouldn't understand. It's a dad thing. Please try explaining it to me. Okay, Brian's just... He just thinks that he's so much better than me and he purposefully reminds me of, of that whenever he can. It's like he has to one-up me. I have to beat him at his own game. Huh? Is that what you think is happening here? No, Amanda. Okay, good. I know that's what's happening. Ugh. All right, pops. We should both be getting some sleep. See you in the morning. Night, panda. I brush my teeth and throw on some pajamas. I'll climb into bed. So it's got dark out really quickly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sleep. <laughs> I am wide awake. I can't help but think about the last time I went fishing, hoping that there's something I can glean from it to give me an edge of a brine. I was about nine years old. My dad woke me up one morning and told me to get dressed and meet him downstairs. It was still dark out. I had no idea what was going on, but before I knew it, we were both alone on a freezing cold lake. I had to sit there for hours while it got hot and muggy, the air thick with bugs. I picked up mosquito bites while my dad sat in stony silence, fishing pole in one hand and a beer in the other. We didn't catch anything. On a long drive home, my father brought me a, bought me a pack of cigarettes and didn't say a thing. That didn't help, and I think I have some repressed sadness about my father. I'll deal with that mm, later. <laughs> I'm sitting on a boat in the middle of a body of water. I can't see any land, but I know it's a lake. The water is placid and still. I'm holding a fishing pole. I don't understand, why it but it feels like my life depends on catching fish right now. I cast my lure into the water and wait, and wait, and wait. My whole being is being, it being is filled with hopefulness, and I watch, 
as I watched the line disappear into the depths below. You used the wrong lure. I look up and see my father, just as he looked that one cold morning, disapproving. I'm panicking now. I pull the lure up and try and grab a different one, but all of the lures in my tackle box are, exa are the exact same. I look up to my father for guidance, but he's gone. I try casting again, but I can't hold my footing. My boat tips over and I fall into the water, sinking further and further. I see m the multitudes of fish that had been lying just below the surface, all swimming around me as if to taunt me. One fish swims up to me. He has prions on <laughs> You gotta use a neutral buoyancy. Lure if you're trying to catch trout, buddy. <laughs> I jolt awake to the sound of my alarm. That's rough, bro. It's fishing day! That would explain the weird dream. I groggily slip on the clothes and get ready. I spot Amanda's door half open and see her still curled up in a mountain of blankets. Walking over to her bed, I give her a tiny kiss on the point. Fishing day, kiddo, you ready? Mm, no. Well, you gotta get up. I can't do this without you. Also, stop sleeping in your clothes. Amanda pulls her comforter over her head. Never. Amanda! I'll get up in a minute. All right, Brian should be here in 20, so you better not just go back to sleep. Amanda sticks her head through the blanket to wave me away. Oh, her hand through the blanket to wave me away. I leave her room and make myself some coffee, coffee and another cup with lots of cream and sugar for Amanda, whenever she gets up. Amanda eventually wanders in and chugs her coffee while I do word jumbles. I hear the doorbell ring. That must be Brian. Fuck's sake. Ah, <laughs> so early. Still rubbing our eyes, we walk outside to see Brian. He's decked out in fishing gear. Daisy's falling asleep next to him. <laughs> Early bird gets the worm, buddy. You ready to fish? I was boy and ready. My eyes narrow in on Brian. It's a good day to die. <laughs> Say it! <laughs> on in, guys. Let's get this fishing party started! I walk over to the driver's side door and open it. Whoop whoop! Brian's door immediately <laughs> hops into the driver's seat, wagging his tail furiously. Can I see your license, sir? Maxwell, let Vilo sit. <laughs> Maxwell obediently hops into the back to cuddle with Daisy. Amanda settles in next to Maxwell and Daisy and immediately falls asleep. So, you ready for an adventure? No, I'm ready for glory! <laughs> glory for the wicked! <laughs> I struggle to stay awake as we drive to the outskirts of town. Country music plays quietly from the radio as I watch trees pass by. So where exactly are we headed? It's about an hour north of here. Little spot I've been going to since I was a kid. My dad used to take me there all the time. I don't think anybody else knows about it. I brought everything we need so that we can just catch some trout, have a nice little fire, and enjoy nature. Um, my um, my fishing pole's in the shop, getting it tuned up. Do you maybe have an extra I could borrow? But of course, it's probably not as nice as it so as it sounds like yours is, though. Right. I'm digging a hole here. I stare out at the. At the forest lining the highway, the sun is just barely over the horizon, scattering dusty pink l light throughout the trees. For a split second, I spot a deer grazing on the sec side of the road before it leaps back into the brush. After a nice quiet drive, Brian eventually tells me to pull off the highway and onto a dirt road. The car bumps along until we reach a clearing that opens to a magnificent lake. Well, here we are. I step out of the car and help Brian unload our gear as Maxwell runs around us barking. The kids wake up and wander up to uh, wander to the shore, where Daisy tries to teach Amanda how to skip rocks. Oh. Brian and I carry the tackle boxes and cooler down to the edge of the lake, where he has a canoe waiting. Ah, oh, great! It's still in one piece. Hold up! Hold on! Help me out with Maxwell. I help Brian taste a place a tiny dog-sized life is and I get dog yards. Woof woof! All right, your turn. Brian hands me a lime green li life vest. Maybe if I fall in, you'll save me. <laughs> Should we do? Yes. If I fall in, I'm counting on you to rescue me. Suit yourself. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> Brian turns to Amanda and Daisy, who are still skipping rocks. Oh, that Chester. <laughs> you kids want to fish? Uh. I'm good with just throwing rocks in the water. Amanda hurls a rock in into the pond with gusto. Yeah, take that, water. <laughs> Amanda, you're supposed to be skipping them. Whoa. She looks so perturbed. Isn't that what we're doing? Daisy, don't you want to fish? I don't think catching fish is kind I don't think... I think catching fish is kind of inhumane. We're going to go explore in the woods and look for bugs and stuff. Alright, be safe. Don't go too far. 
Brian puts the life vest around himself and we throw all of our equipment into the canoe. Maxwell happily jumps in and takes his place looking out over the front of the boat. I get into the canoe as Brian shoves off. We paddle together to get ourselves in the middle of the lake. Most freshwater fish usually feed at dusk and dawn, which is why I had to get up you up so early. Yeah, I know. It's pretty, it's pretty common fisherman knowledge, after all. Fisherman knowledge that I am knowledgeable about. Still a gambling man? <laughs> you know it. Oh, this is a mistake. <laughs> Let's see who can catch more fish. I sense a mini game that I'm gonna hate. <laughs> you can catch more. You can catch more than one. Sounds easy enough to me. What's the line? Besides all the fish I'm gonna catch, obviously. I was thinking something a little more high stakes and mowing the lawn. Ooh. <laughs> Whoever catches the most, I want to lose already. Dick sucked. <laughs> Custody of the <my> children. <gasps> more than that, let's say if I win, I, I get your said, weed whacker. <laughs> I thought he said weed, and I was like, hold up, hold up a second. Weed whacker doesn't sound much better. <laughs> the weed whacker master two thousand. That's a limited edition. But if you win, you get my pole saw, the reach and cut three thousand. The cordless version. That's the one. Shit. The reach and cut 3000 is state of the art. My weed whacker is a prized possession, but there are those hard to reach branches at the back of the yard that have been begging for a pruning. Yawn. God, we're gonna fuck this up. <laughs> we shake on it. I suddenly remember that I don't know how to fish. My foolish fatherly pride will one day be my doing doing. This is the day. This is the day. It's your undoing, my life. <sighs> I watch as Brian ties a lair and does some stuff I can't quite follow with his fishing pole. He casts into the lake. Oh boy, no, I have to do that. I stare down at the tackle box and at the pole in my hand. Uh... <laughs> Stretch before physical activity. Put some bait on the hook. Put some bait on the hook. That seems pretty. Hey, a fish, a, a, a fish, a worm from the diaphragm container Brian brought. It's slippery, but I think again it can get it onto the hook if I just focus. Oh god, I'm bleeding. Oh god, the blood's everywhere. The worm is not on the hook. <laughs> Need some help? Oh, that's you. Need some help? Nope, I meant to do that. The blood attracts the fish. They can smell it up to a mile away, you know. I think that's sharks. Nope, that's definitely <laughs> fish. Now what? Uh, <laughs> tie a knot or something. <laughs> <Dance>. <laughs> I d <laughs> Whoa! I take my pole and try to tie an elaborate looking knot to impress Brian. The classic hunter's bend. I learned that one in my youth. Yep, this one isn't coming apart anytime soon. With this knot, I will catch, I will cast my heavenly line upon the unsuspecting water and deliver onto us a bountiful harvest. I look over to Brian. He doesn't seem to be paying attention. Let's cast this sucker. I pull my rod back and launch the lure as hard as I can. Whoa! And the, the lure flies off the line and sails far, far away. Climbing in the lake with a loud sploosh. Sorry, I judged the wind speed wrong. This cold air drives the pressure down. <laughs> Go ahead and take my pole. I know it's hard switching to a new pole you're not used to. I'll fix up another lure. Brian hands me his pole with a smile. <laughs> I just sit there feeling like an idiot. Oh god, mini game! Oh god! Oh god! Fishing around here is easy. They group. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Sorry. Fishing around here is easy. They group up. All you gotta do is line the same species and reel them in. Oh, I'm really fucking good at these games. I know these look so fun. You need to match the same species. I can't tell which fish is which. If you match these, you can get yeah. all these up there. I think. Nice oh fuck. my fuck. god! Fuck me! It's intense. <laughs> oh my. Oh uh, what? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so I'm aggressive. Oh. 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 That one. Nice catch. Oh. This hurts your eyes. Like it does. Oh, it's so intimidating. Come on, we need it. We've got our prized possession on the line here. That's a, that's the northern pike, a sportish fish that isn't great. No time, there's a Duh! countdown. Oh fuck! Duh. Now you're fishing. Now you're cooking, cooking the fish. Now you're cooking, cooking the fish. Um, uh, this one or this one, either way. Nice man. Uh, nice man. Uh, ah, fuck. Fuck! 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 Ah! No, that was the wrong one. I didn't want that one. Ah, bollocks! What are you doing? Fuck! There we go. Okay. God damn it! 
God damn it. Oh, this is so confusing. They all look the same. <laughs> they all look similar. <laughs> God, this <laughs> hurts the eyes so it bad. It really does. That one. Ah, yes. Wrong what? way. Fuck. You, no, you should have just dragged that one down. <laughs> this is that one. Oh, okay, it's that one, yeah. I got, I got really confused. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, I'm really fucking good at these games. I know, these look so fun. That one. <laughs> nice match. <laughs> Two, one, and zero. <laughs> what? Lost. Perfect. Fuck me. Good work. Please say we won. We literally won because I won. Trust no one. <laughs> Correct. Wow, this is way tougher than I thought. I look over to Brian, who's smiling and obviously enjoying his time here on the lake. I will crush him. Suddenly, the fishing pole jumps in my hand. I reflexively tug upward. Tug upwards. I think I got something back! The tip of the pole dips down repeatedly and the line starts to run. Reel it in! I finally get the fish right up next to the boat. It's a long, beautiful rainbow trap. Brian hands me a net. It's all yours. I lean down and notice that my hands are shaking with excitement. This fish is bigger than all the ones Brian the ones Brian's caught. The pole sore is mine. Oh my entire canoe dips over <laughs> with me. I find myself sinking into the lake. I should have taken the life vest. All of a sudden I'm embraced under the water and pulled into Brian's arms. I fi I'm finally dragged upward, spluttering water, all of our gear floats on the surface. Maxwell doggy paddles around us in circles, having a great time. That's adorable. You alright? Does that count as one? Well, seeing as all our fish are now swimming safely back in the lake, uh, I guess so. <laughs> Brian laughs. Let's get you to shore. Brian and I flip the canoe back over and fill it with our now soaking wet gear. Great job, Vilo, oh, great job. We did it! We row back to shore with Maxwell in tow. Oh boy! Harry boy. <laughs> Harry boy. Once we get to the beach, Maxwell darts off into the woods. Brian takes off his shirt. Dots, d dots of lake, dots of lake water glisten in the sun across his strong back. Man, all that general contracting must have built that guy like an ox. I hope he doesn't notice me staring, because I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a fire going so we can dry off. Wanna hand me yours? Ah, uh, um, yeah, okay. I reluctantly take off my own shirt and toss it to Brian. I suddenly wish I had done more sit-ups in my life. Well, any sit-ups at all, really. Another thing you've bested me in, stupid sexy Brian. <laughs> you might as well throw that shirt up. Seems like it's the only lunch we'll have. The day's young. We can fish from the shore. Once Brian gets the fire going, I sit and try to dry off my pants. Brian sets a couple lures out by the water's edge. We're probably going to have to put the keep bosh on the competition for now. <laughs> Until another day. My stomach growls. You hungry? Oh, for you. I'm fine. <laughs> Brian reaches into his cargo shorts and pulls out a few granola bars. I have a small child. I am flushed with snacks. <laughs> Brian joins me by the fire and I accept the cargo short granola. That's probably wet from the water. Yeah. Well, no, pack it. It'll be in the pack. True. And now we're back to waiting. Where did the girls get off to? Shouldn't they be back by now? Uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. They're a couple of smart kids. That's what I'm worried about. They're too smart. They've probably established a small rural government by this point and installed themselves as leaders. I take a look around at, at the sun cresting the tree line, casting the entire lake in a warm golden glow. The forest seems to be coming alive now. Birds chirping in the distance. Wow, nature is beautiful. A mosquito bites me. I slap my neck and curse. Nature sucks. <laughs> Here you go, bud. Brian hands me a bottle of bug spray. I begrudgingly take it and douse myself. Ugh, oh, I've always hated how this sm stuff smells. Really? I always kind of liked it. Reminds me of being outside. Maybe you and I have different sentiments. After all. Bye, Bri. <laughs> oh no, it has been.
recording. Okay. Oh my Ooh. god. Oh my god. No, the camera's again. I was gonna start crying. <laughs> That wasn't even funny. That wasn't even funny. That was just pure panic in our eyes. We were just like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? I was going to give up and start reading if that happened. I was going to be like, like nah, no. Fuck this, don't care. <laughs> oh, God. Okay.